Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are once again going to talk about Korea and balloons. Um, because apparently, like, the South Korean government did not find that as humorous as I did. And it's turning into a little bit of a thing. But at the same time, because of how some of the initial reporting has been phrased, I feel like it's going to turn into one of those things that in the United States gets hyped up and gets used to fearmonger and inflame people. So we're just going to kind of run through what is actually going on here. If you missed it, there has been a years-long thing where South Korean activists have flown balloons into North Korea and they've carried like pamphlets and USB drives that have like South Korean TV shows and stuff like that on them. It's a joke. The South Korean government at one point in time did actually try to ban this practice. However, it was ruled unconstitutional there. The North Korean government responded by flying their own balloons over. These balloons held, uh, rather than pamphlets and you know USB drives, they had trash and waste. I personally found this mildly amusing. Uh, the South Korean government is taking a little bit of a different stance. And they are suspending, looking at suspending, maybe they already have by this point, a treaty from, I want to say 2018, somewhere in there. In the early reporting, it is being described as a peace treaty. And that is true. It is a peace treaty. It was something that came about when the two sides were talking to each other again, and things were going pretty well. Um, however, it is not the peace treaty, meaning this being suspended does not lead to open hostilities. And I feel like that's where people are going to fear monger. That's where people are going to try to rack up their views and say, hey, you know, war is imminent. It's not. It's, it's still over balloons. Um, the other thing that is worth noting is that the balloon thing is not really why the treaty is being suspended. Um, it's, it, it really has to do with some other things that the North Korean government has done recently, which, I mean, they're kind of par for the course. It's nothing hugely out of the norm, but all of it coming at once has created some tensions. And these things are a little bit more uh, advanced than balloons. You know, they like did little things like jammed up the GPS or conducted a drill in which they launched nuclear capable stuff, um, simulating a preemptive strike on the South. That's really what it's about. The balloons were just kind of like the last straw, so to speak. Um, now, this treaty that is being suspended, it does not mean that hostilities are imminent. This is more about not engaging in psychological warfare with each other, and it's stuff like that. Um, it isn't, it's not a huge deal, so if you start to see that kind of rhetoric come out, it, that's not what's going on. Um, U.S. State Department has referred to the North Korean balloon thing as uh, as childish. I would agree. I would agree. It is. I'm not sure that it really should contribute to a a potential international incident. Personally. Um, there are a lot of concerns in South Korea that it might have been a dry run to, you know, do bio or chem stuff. There, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are, in my opinion, being a little blown out of proportion, um, full of hot air, if you will. It seems incredibly unlikely that that's what's going on. Um, now, South Korean activists do uh, do intend to respond with their own balloon barrage still. And 
North Korea, for its part, has said that it will stop. But that doesn't look like it's going to alter the South's position on the treaty. But again, it's not a peace treaty in the way that people imagine that term. It, it does not mean that hostilities are imminent. And that's the part that I think needs to be stressed as the coverage goes out and people try to uh, make it more interesting and more important to watch. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.